This is Twit. It was safer. It is safer internet week. It still is because it's a week. Uh, and to celebrate Safer Internet Day, which was Monday, Google's making it Safer Internet Week. It, and they're doing a lot of things to make you safer. The biggest one I've already uh, installed on Chrome, which is a uh, password checkup. So uh, password checkup is a Chrome extension you can install. And it will tell you if, A, the username and password you've just used is one of over 4 billion credentials that are known to be compromised. Oh. Very handy. Uh, it will also uh, it will also uh, see if you're reusing passwords. It will help you uh, oh, do well. the right thing, and it's probably something everybody should install immediately. So uh, none of your recently used. I'm just looking at it now in my browser. It's over here on the right. None of your recently used passwords are detected on a data breach, and then the, in the advanced settings, nothing. Clear oh, this used to be a service that people charged for. This is great. Yeah. Have I Been Pwned has been around. Troy Hunt's Have I Been Pwned. They, I don't believe they're using the same technology as Troy Hunt. Probably this is similar data, however. So uh, that's good. Google has already been doing this, as you know. If, you're, if your Google password is discovered in a breach, they'll reset it. I don't, maybe you don't know that, but that they will. So they've been doing that for some time. Where uh, where we find this? I can. It's it. in the Chrome extension store. It's called Password Checkup. It's from Google. Don't use anything not from Google. Right. And then you'll get an icon, and you'll be alerted when you sign in with unsafe credentials, which is nice. Also, uh, cross account protection um, designed. It's it's kind of complicated. I don't I don't understand what it means. In rare cases. The attacker is able to find a way into your Google account. We've built useful tools to help you quickly get back to safety. Unfortunately, these protections haven't extended to the apps you sign into Google with. Oh, I get it. So if you're using Google as your single sign-in, cross-account protection will help address that. When apps and sites have implemented it, we're able to send information about security events like an account hijacking to them so they can protect you too. So as they give an example that if you've used Adobe to uh, the Google account to sign into your Adobe account, it will be protected. And if there's an issue with your password on those accounts, though. Oh, that's really interesting because I you, I typically don't use Google to sign into things because I don't want it to get data between different services, kind of like the right. Facebook sign in or Google right. sign in. Right. So this is actually an impetus to get me to actually use yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know.